during DNA replication, incorporation of base pair mismatches occurs rarely. There are DNA repair mechanisms that can fix such mistakes. One such mechanism is the methyl directed mismatch repair system. In E. coli, this repair system can detect a mismatch shortly after DNA replication and repair the newly synthesized strand, thus preserving the base pairing that was present in the original DNA molecule. The system relies on the fact that methylation of a newly synthesized DNA does not occur until a few seconds or minutes after the strand is made. This provides a window of time during which the newly made strand in a DNA double helix can be distinguished from the parental strand which is already methylated. A sequence of DNA with only one methylated strand is said to be hemimethylated. After a few minutes, the newly made strand is methylated in presence of dam methylage. So, the two strands cannot be distinguished. Dam methylage methylates DNA at the N6 position of all adenines within 5' GATC sequences. Actual recognition of a base pair mismatch is the role of the mute S protein. Mute S protein binds to a mismatch site. Mute L protein then binds with the mute S protein and forms a mute L mute S complex. The formation of mute L mute S complex requires ATP hydrolysis. The formation of this complex recruits mute H to the region. Mute H bind to a hemimethylated site. The binding of mute H requires ATP hydrolysis. The mute L mute S complex then interacts with mute H by a DNA looping mechanism. Mute H has a site specific endonuclease activity. This site specific endonuclease activity is inactive until the complex encounters a hemimethylated GATC sequence. When the complex encounters a hemimethylated GATC sequence, the site specific endonuclease activity of mute edge is activated. By its site specific endonuclease activity, mute edge then makes a cut or cleavage specifically in the non-methylated strand. One out of four different exonucleases like exonuclease VII, RecJ nuclease, exonuclease I, exonuclease X then digests or removes the non-methylated strand from the cleavage site to just beyond the mismatch site. This digestion of non-methylated strand also requires the action of DNA helicase 2 and SSB. This digestion leaves a gap in the newly made strand. This gap is filled by a DNA polymerase 3 and then the nick is sealed by DNA ligase. As a result, the mismatch is replaced with the correct base pair as indicated by the older or original strand. The exonuclease that is used depends on the location of the cleavage site relative to the mismatch. Now some important points. If both strands are methylated at a GATC sequence, few mismatches are repaired. If neither strand is methylated, repair occurs but does not favor either strand. Strand identification does not involve GATC sequences. 
Strand discrimination mechanism has not been worked out for most bacteria or eukaryotes. Mute S mute L complex binds to all mismatched base pairs except cytosine cytosine. Correction of the rare mismatches left after replication in E. coli improves the overall accuracy of the replication by an additional factor of 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 3. In E. coli, the mismatch may be 1000 base pair or more from the GATC sequence. So, mismatch repair is an energetically expensive process for E. coli. The cell's methyl-directed mismatch repair system efficiently repairs mismatches up to 1000 base pair from a hemimethylated GATC sequence. Changes in human genes encoding proteins of mute S, mute L type produce some of the most common inherited cancer susceptibility syndromes like hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer or HNPCC. Please like, subscribe and share.